This was from my last summer. I rolled up in there uh, on my trip uh, through Kentucky, rolled up to Liquor Barn, driving, uh, pull up in the motorhome, and um, and I go in and get a shopping cart. <laughs> you know, when you go into the liquor barn with and get a shopping cart, you mean business. And I'm, you know, I'm people str- know you're serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Whiskey Tango what? Charlie, <laughs> Burgundy Night in the Barrel Room. Um, we hope you're enjoying your evening also. As you um, stroll down the aisle, often in the liquor store, you're looking for maybe a unicorn, Charles. Well, there you go. I have one. A unicorn. A unicorn. A bottle of Buffalo Trace. And in many times that you look for it, you can't find it. You can't find it. Right? Yeah. So... In some cases, you may reach for this. It's the same distillery. Yeah. Same mash build. Same mash build. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, interesting enough, tonight, we have some uh-huh. flat boat. You're breaking it out. So, I'm not so sure that a lot of people know flat boat, unless you've been to Kentucky, mm-hmm. and you've been to a liquor barn. Let's go to liquor barn, man. Yeah, funny story on that, right? Funny story. This was from my last summer. I rolled up in there uh, on my trip uh, through Kentucky, rolled up to Liquor Barn, driving, uh, pull up in the motorhome, and um, and I go in and get a shopping cart. <laughs> you know, when you go into the liquor barn with and get a shopping cart, you mean business. And I'm, you know, I'm people str- know you're serious. <laughs> I'm serious. So, you know, I, I picked this up and I, cause I, the big display there, and this was, um, this from what I, I did a little studying on it, figured out what it was after I bought it. I, I really bought it cause it was, it was a 20 something dollar bottle. I mean, right. So from a price point, you're like, well, sh- sh- I'll give it a try. Um, this is a, uh, a collaboration between Liquor Barn and uh, Barton 1792, a distillery that they put this together. And this is a private label for Liquor Barn that they put together. So 1792 is pretty hot right now. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sought after bourbon. Yep. But if you're looking for uh, the similar type bourbon, same mash build, but maybe in a li- lesser price point with a screw off top. Right. Yep. So, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, and jump in with a responsible pour. pour. So, Charles, any time that you roll up into uh, a liquor store and you grab a shopping cart, that means business, my brother. <laughs> That's well, business. Two two things. Uh, that was that was kind of my first time ever rolling up in a parking lot, uh, you know, traveling through there in, in, in a motorhome. And, uh, and so I pulled up in there and it was, um, it just so happened I was there at, at opening, like at 10 a.m., right? Mm-hmm. So you roll up in there at, at 9, 30, 10 a.m., something like that, right when, right after they open. And um, you roll up in the motorhome and, and people kind of look funny at you when you get out and you start walking to the store. Because typically, you know, park, you park away from the store. You don't go pull at the front door. Park down and you walk, and I noticed yeah, people. The Griswold Motorhome. You know, they kind of looking at you. And then when you get in the store, you grab a shopping cart because, you know, I'm I'm on a mission to bring back as much product as the pocketbook could stand because I'm, I'm actually on headed home at that point. And I said, I've got to do some shopping, bring back some stuff. And this was one. And um, I've had, you know, I got several of these bottles. Uh, I don't think you've had I have them. not had yeah. it and um so it hasn't aired out quite yeah. yet right but i love the, the sweetness of this right it just comes right up as a nice yeah so uh, lighting color you know pretty light um and believe it or not the fingers are pretty thick to be a 24 dollar bottle of bourbon uh 20 ish yeah 20 yeah. something yeah. 20 something yeah so mm-hmm. 
So the, the typicals, the oaks, the caramels, the vanillas. This one comes in. Wow. This one comes in at, uh, I forget what this one was coming at, 90 proof. So it's a 90 proofer. Pretty smooth. Not uh, very strong. Mid palate. Um, nope. Do you know what the match build is, Charles? Uh, yeah, I wish I did. <laughs> oh, it's a secret. It's a new one. Yeah, it's, it's a secret I, secret. Yeah. Um, no, if you kind of go through that, it's it's um, this is a Kentucky straight um, bourbon. So, so we know it's this, at least four year. We know it's a straight. It's at least a four years. We know that. Right. So, um, and um, for mine, the palate finishes very far back. Mm -hmm. Far back on the tongue, and um, nice little hug here. Um, it's not um, it's not overpowering. It's just a nice warm hug. So um, you know, fairly decent. So um, I'm I'm, I'm going to go ahead and jump right to the wheel. Oh, you're getting up on. Let's get the chips on the wheel, baby. <laughs> let's get so right. So um, the the typical caramel and vanillas. I'm not getting too much honey. Uh, no butterscotch, um, no chocolates, either or. Um, what are you thinking? I, I'll double down on that particular spot right there. That's a that's a pretty cool area. I don't think it's um, over. I'm getting some. I'm going to go to the wood side. I'm going to get, there's a light oakiness there. I don't think it's overpowering. So I'm going to step up on you a little bit. A little and bit. I'm going to go, uh, it's pretty oaky to me. Okay. Right? Um, and again, different palettes um, sense different things, and that's what's so unique about you know bourbon is it depends on like what kind of ice cream do you like, Charles? Right? <laughs> Everybody's palate's different. If everybody ate chocolate ice cream, there would be no need for vanilla. Right. All right. Let's talk about a grain here. What? Where, where are um, you at on this? I man, I don't really get corn. I don't get, I get, I get a little bit of the spiciness. Um, I, I'm going to just go easy on that. I, I can't really push to either side on that. Um, so I'm going to go a little bit higher than you on that. I'm not going to double down where you were, uh, but I'm not getting any corn. I'm not getting any spiciness of any kind of rise, which brings up what we need to talk about next, which are the spices, right? Spices. Right? So uh, a brown or a savory, uh, where you at on that, Charles? I'm getting cinnamon, uh, a little bit of the peppery, but very light. Um, mm, mm, I'm definitely over here on the, the brown. I'm not in the savory side. It might be a little bit towards the cinnamon. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go where you were. Because yeah. I'm not getting that cinnamon on my palate. Um, obviously, no cloves, and we're definitely not going towards the uh, the tobaccos and the coffees. Um, I don't think so. So, if we were to go to the fruits and florals, um, I I am getting a little floral. Definitely. No fruit. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go light on the floral. Yeah, I'm gonna get halfway there. About halfway there, huh? So yeah. not not a true double down. Yeah, but maybe no. halfway. Yeah. I'm not getting it. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get. No, I don't get the. I was trying to get the the cherry notes, but not really. So as a parody, right against the 1792, Charles, um, where do you think we are rating this? Um. And please don't rate it on the price, because we have a lot of people that talk about no. price and drain pour, right. and this is not my palate. But um, I, th I think you know, look for for a mid twenty dollar bottle. I think the price point is is really good. I, I I would put this close to a four. I don't know. I would be quite to a four on it, but I think all in all, it's a good sipper. Uh, there's nothing that's harsh about that, and so. 
Um, make a three. Let's make it a three point six. All right, I'm gonna go with a three point two, and I'm gonna suggest uh, maybe some ginger ale. So this may be a great bourbon that I will have in my house, maybe one bottle or two, uh, and may mix it with some ginger ale as we have company over. Uh, is very smooth bourbon. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to have it neat, uh, it's probably not a bad thing. I don't know that I would add ice to it, but I would definitely use this as a, uh, a mixer and, uh, and enjoy it with friends. So from uh, Whiskey Tango Charlie talking about parodies, and uh, if you really don't want to spend the money on a, like a 1792, we would highly suggest a flat boat. Great. I think it's a great deal for a private label brand. Solid all the way. Good pour. To the bourbon lifestyle, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. It's not a bad bourbon, Charles. Good pick. Good pick. <laughs>